Hey there yogis, I'm Nicole. Welcome back to My Yoga Time. Today I have the sixth class for you in the chakra series. We're moving up to the third eye center there, which is known to be an indigo spinning wheel. So this chakra relates to clarity, insight and intuition. So we are all intuitive beings and the more you practice regular mindful yoga, the sharper your intuition will become. And our heightened intuition requires balance from both sides of the brain the feminine and the masculine. Both of these energies coming together bestows intellect and intuition. The rationale of the masculine blending with the creativity of the feminine creates wisdom. When this center is clear and balanced, you see with clarity, you know what to do and what steps to take next. So let's begin our practice yogis. We will start up against the wall. So do position your mat next to the wall. I've got two blocks, but you can do this practice with just one block if that's all you have. If you don't have a block, you can improvise with a really thick book or a rolled up towel. And when you're ready, we're gonna begin with our legs up against the wall. So you'll sit with one hip touching the wall. And then as you bring your shoulders down, you'll swing your legs up. So you don't need to have full contact with your bottom and the wall. A little bit of space is fine. And if you are quite tight through the hamstrings and the back, you probably will prefer a little more space. So I'm going to use both blocks underneath my bottom. So bending the knees, pressing the feet into the wall, either one block on the flat side if that's all you're using, or two blocks stacked on top of one another. And then we'll straighten and relax those legs. Arms can come out to the side, or if you prefer, you can take the arms above the head, holding opposite elbows with the hands. Closing the eyes down. And gently placing the tip of your tongue where the teeth meet the roof of the mouth. And just bringing your awareness to the third eye center. Breathing in to this space. Witnessing the four parts of your breath, the inhalation and pause, exhalation and pause. And let's release the pose now. We'll bend those knees, bring the arms down if they're overhead. Pressing the feet into the wall to lift your hips, remove your blocks, and coming all the way down onto your back. Let's roll to one side, take a brief moment in the fetal position before bringing yourself up. And we'll come over on all fours. From here, extending the arms in front for your puppy pose, so keeping the hips up nice and high. Your forehead can meet the mat or the block if you can't meet the mat with ease. Arms can stay straight or you can bring those hands to prayer above the head. Resting the third eye center and feeling the meeting points between the forehead and the mat. We 
When you're ready, let's walk those hands back. Come into child's pose, sitting on the heels, keeping the forehead on the mat or the block. Bring the arms next to the feet. Palms can face the ceiling. You might even like to take chin mudra, connecting index finger and thumbs. From here, we'll gently roll from temple to temple. And then coming back to centre, lifting yourself up now. Coming forward and down onto the forearms, so your elbows will be underneath the shoulders. Lifting up those knees, taking a brief forearm plank before stepping the feet in a little closer for your dolphin pose. Gently send your armpits towards your thighs, keeping the jaw relaxed. And a little bit of strength required here. Let's press into the palms and lift up into your downward facing dog. And then step the feet up to the top of the mat. Well done. Coming to your rag doll, have those feet hip width apart or even wider. Either hold onto the opposite elbows with the hands and take a little sway from side to side. Or if your shoulders permit, you can take the hands to the low back and then interlace the fingers, straightening the arms. Let the head hang. Let's lower those hands down now if the fingers are interlaced, bending in those knees as you roll up to stand. When you're ready at the top of the mat, let's inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Half lift on the inhalation, flat back. Exhale to bow, step your left leg back. We're coming into a high lunge and inhale those arms up. So you're pressing into both feet strong and straight in the back leg. It's as though you're trying to stretch the mat with your feet. Option one, you'll stay upright with those arms lifted. Option two, bring the hands behind you, interlace those fingers once again. Lift the chin and move the throat forward. Feel free to stay as you are, otherwise inhale. And as you exhale, dive forward. Taking the third eye center down, drishti towards your big toe. And strong in the legs, let's come back up. Release those hands. Bring the palms together and then settle the thumbs at the third eye center. Let's tilt the body forward, a few baby steps in with your back foot and then moving into your variation of warrior three. So dorsal flexing the left foot, drawing the lower belly in. Inhale to come all the way up, keep the hands at the brow, lift the left knee. And exhale to lower, hands coming down. Inhale. Exhale. Half lift. Forward fold, right leg back, take that high lunge. Either stay there or interlace the hands behind you. Lifting heart, lifting chin, throat moves forward, strong and straight in the back leg. Either stay there or fall forward. Be mindful of where your drishti is, your point of focus. And let's lift up. Release those hands. Hands come to prayer at the third eye center. Tilt the body forward, a few baby steps in. Warrior three. Inhale to come up, lift the right knee and lower down. Well done yogis. Let's take a wide legged position now. So outside edges of the feet are parallel to the short side of the mat, slight pigeon toe, hands to the hips, inhale and exhale, fall forward, coming all the way down. So you can lower those hands to the mat and you can always use the blocks if you need to. Option one, you'll keep those hands on the mat or the blocks. Option two, interlace those fingers once again, straightening the arms, letting the head hang. You might even like to turn the head from side to side.
And let's lower those hands down to the floor. Walk them to the top of the mat, returning to your lunge. Step back into your last downward facing dog. And we'll lower those knees down to the mat. Let's return to child's pose, just as we did at the beginning of the class. But this time, let's make a triangle with the hands. So thumb and pointer fingers to meet, resting your third eye center in your triangle. And let's lift ourselves up. Coming to seated now, and I encourage you to sit up on your block. It doesn't matter what you do with your legs. If crossing the legs is uncomfortable, feel free to straighten and relax the legs. Or of course you could take a hero pose. So we'll finish our class with a little pranayama, our alternate nostril breathing. So left hand can stay on the left thigh. You can take chin mudra, connecting index finger and thumbs. For this alternate nostril breathing today, I encourage you to keep your middle finger and pointer fingers extended, and you're gonna nestle them on the third eye center just to help keep our awareness there. Your thumb will block the right nostril, and either your ring or your pinky finger can block the left, that's up to you. So we're blocking just at the where the grisly part of the nose ends, and the breath becomes a little more subtle, so you won't hear the breath as loudly as what you do with ujjayi breath. So alternate nostril breathing is said to clear the main nadis and also balance the left and right hemispheres of the brain. So two of the three major nadis, Ida and Pingala, representing our masculine and feminine, start at the base chakra and the two of them crisscross through each of the energy centers, each chakra finishing at the third eye center. So when you're ready, let's begin. Of course, if you've got a blocked nose or problems with your sinuses, feel free to give this a miss and you can just breathe through both nostrils and you might even visualize the breath crisscrossing through those chakras. When you're ready, inhale through both nostrils, block the right nostril with the thumb and exhale through the left. Inhale through the left, block the left, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Blocking both nostrils, brief pause. Exhale through the left. Continue at your own pace. Next time you exhale through the right nostril will be the last time. When you arrive there, keep the eyes closed. Lower the right hand down. Take chin mudra through the right hand. Breathe through both nostrils. Let's bring the hands to prayer at the third eye center for clarity of thought. Lower the fingertips to the lips for purity and honesty in our speech. And hands to the heart center 
for love and compassion in all that we do. Namaste yogis. Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope that you enjoyed the class. Stay tuned for our seventh and final class when we move up to the crown chakra. Wishing you a lovely day.